Sanusi Adebisi Idikon lived from 1882 to 1838. He is the first notable entrepreneur, philanthropist, and first to drive a car in Ibadan. Have you ever run that those who ruled and dominated Ibadan during the 19th and 20th century? Here we introduce to you the man who is believed to first own a car in Ibadan, wealthy and philanthropist. As we find our route to the mansion of Adebisi, located in Idikon, Ibadan. Sanusi Adebisi Diko was a real personality that changed Ibadan's business landscape, paid tax for the men during the Mapu tax era. He was born and bred in this house in the year 1882 in Ibadan during the reign of Are Latosha, the ballet of Ibadan, and died in 1938 during the reign of Obao Kuala Abbas Aleshinoye. Adebisi's father, Adeshino, migrated from Air for Alai. He was an Ofi cloth weaver, a traditional Yoruba cloth made for ceremonies and more. Adeshino, while plying a trade of Ofi weaving, was also a spiritual consultant to Alafi Atiba and had three children, Adetiri, Adeuti, and Adebisi. Adebisi grew up to join his siblings in the orchid of their father's Ofi cloth in and outside the city of Ibadan. Within a short space of time, he enlarged the space of the business by orking the Ofi cloths outside Ibadan, Iwo, Ileogbo, Ikiri, Oshobu, Ife, Undo, and even the far flung place of Bini, and before the age of 18 years, he became an instant success and even had to retire his siblings from the business. Aside of his business, he started large-scale farming in Ashikba village, Mamo, where he developed a large cocoa plantation. The success in the Mamo cocoa plantation encouraged him to acquire about 200 acres of land in Akbata, Ibadan, where he developed another cocoa plantation. In recognition of his success as a cocoa farmer and entrepreneur, he was made the Giwa Egbe, head of the society, by his other successful merchants like Otiti, Ekolo, Afolei, Ladimeji from Isalejebu, and Adeyemo Owonbuwo from Okoyosa. As Giwa of the society, he added Giwa to his name to become Sanusi Adebisi Giwa. Sanusi Adebisi Giwa's acts of philanthropy were demonstrated in his first tax rescue effort in Ibadan. Payment of tax by every male adult was made compulsory by the colonial government. Henceforth, the colonial officer would calculate the amount of tax expected from all Ibadan taxable adults and would go to Adebisi Dikon's residence to collect the money. Adebisi was displeased with the tax situation in Ibadan. His philosophy has always been the rich must help the poor who are vulnerable. Adebisi had at this time been one of the first people to ride a car. Around 1920, the Myla brothers of the United Kingdom arrived in Ibadan looking for business prospects, opportunities, and business associates. They needed a native of immense wealth who could be an intermediary and associate. Sanusi, even though not that educated, had secretaries and personal assistants who were well educated. The Myla brothers made him their factor. Whatever goods imported to Nigeria by the Myla brothers would reach Ibadan, the main depot, 
for Adebisi to chart its mode of distribution and marketing as its main distributor and marketer. Adebisi's fortune sword and the Myla brothers became a conglomerate and a multinational. Adebisi later became a shareholder in the multinational and Myla brothers later changed their name to United African Company, UAC. As a need to join the ruling class, he approached the reigning monarch, Bale Shitsu Are, in 1924 for a chieftaincy title, which Bale gladly obliged. On the 26th of November, 1926, Adebisi was installed the Ashaju Bale of Ibadan, jumping about 10 lines on the rung of the ladder or Tsun Olubadon civil line. Sanusi Adebisi having joined the Otun Olubadon line from the 11th of the rung of the ladder of 22 lines, later shortly thereafter rose to become the Ashikpa in 1936 and was installed by the incumbent Olubadon, Abbas Okwola Aleshinloye, who succeeded Oyewole Foko in 1930 as the new Olubadon of Ibadan. Adebisi, having been impressed with the construction of Makoho in 1925, also started the construction of his own mansion in 1927, an edifice that looked like Makoho in elegance, glandel, and splendor. Here is Adebisi's room. The architectural design and construction of Adebisi mansion could only be found in Europe. The mansion was of no equal to date in the city as many still marvel at the edifice that it was general saying that meaning he who wants to build a house like Adebisi's mansion is not ready to build any house. The top of the triangular dome was designed with an elephant which is engraved S-A-G. Abbreviation for Sanusi Adebisi Yiwa. The Mako Hall was commissioned in October 5, 1929, and Adebisi's mansion was opened before the opening of Mako Hall. Both buildings were constructed by Europeans and a local engineer, Mr. Kero. Sanusi Adebisi was a man of excessive generosity, whose milk of human kindness was ceaseless. Here is Adebisi's kitchen. And you can see the brown roofs of Ibadan from the building space upstairs, as it is. Kids are seen playing table tennis in the building. Adebisi's driver, Iriola, was reported to him for stealing Adebisi's money in building a house. Adebisi had made up his mind to investigate. The following morning, he challenged Iriola to take him straight to the house he was building. On reaching the site, he saw the building construction going on, and the builders were shocked to see him. Surprisingly, Adebisi asked the builders to start dismantling the structure already constructed and start to rebuild it in the mode that would befit Adebisi. At completion, Ariola's house became a masterpiece for all and also broke the record as the first lowly person in the paddle to build a house of blocks that was incomparable. Adebisi in ill health was advised to visit the renowned surgeon, Dr. Doati in Lagos. The doctor advised him to stay in Lagos for three weeks to have a rest. By doing so, Adebisi bought a house at 34 with Man Street, somewhere in Ebutemeta, to enjoy well-deserved rest. After some days in Lagos, he died on June 12, 1938. At the age of 56, he was an uncommon benefactor and philanthropist who had impacted on souls and communities and Nigeria as a whole. In the Ibadan folklore, Ili Adebisi Latije Malu Tawo Tawo Awa Oje Dudu Nile Salami, meaning it is in Adebisi's house that cow meat is eaten wholly with its skin why we have not eaten fried plantain in the house of Salami, another notable Ibadan wealthy man of Adebisi's generation. 
Here is where Adebisi was buried together with his three horses, also with other family members.